Welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture, I'll teach you how you can do some band mats, mats or band combination of um, an image, uh, uh, in this case, uh, a, a Landsat image and using the Earth Engine um, Python API and uh, Google Colab environment. Um, so if you have not um, authenticated uh, and initialized Earth Engine, use this part of the, the script to, to do that uh, since I already uh, have done that. I'll just go ahead and start the, to the main part of the script. So I'll load a Landsat image. Uh, in this case, I'll have to write the what I'm doing. So this is not part of the code. It's just commented. So it's uh, Python. It's not reading that. Uh, so that I remember, I'll write the title of my script. Uh, load two five here. Landsat seven. Composite. So I'll name um, a variable called Landsat, and the first year is 99. So I'll use 1999. So this is a variable name. You can change it if you want to. And then I'll cast ee image since I'm importing an image from the Earth Engine library. So I'll, I'll, I'll write the image ID that I've been using. I'm using Landsat 7, so I'll write Landsat E7. And it's a TOA, that means Top of Atmospheric Reflectance. It's a five-year composite. And the year is 1999 to 2003. So that's my first data. And the other one is I'll actually copy this since I'm slightly changing the year to save time. So my second variable is Landsat 2008. And the only thing I change here is the year range. Okay, 2008 to 2012. So I'm importing two images from Earth Engine. The first one is a five-year composite, uh, which I'll name 1999. And the other image is Landsat 7 five year composite, uh, which I'll be naming as Landsat 2008. Okay. And the next thing is I'll actually need to add more sales so that I run my script. Okay. So the next part of the script is I'll try it. Um, <clears throat> A function that calculates um, NDVI okay so and I'll just use there are two ways you can calculate NDVI the, the Earth Engine built-in normalized difference um, function <clears throat> and also I can use some band math okay so let me use the first approach here compute NDVI the hard way so this is the difficult way all right so the first thing is to start my function I'll name it uh, for example I'll use the the Landsat 99 image using this approach okay so I'll import that Landsat 19 1999 here and I'll use that and then select the different bands okay for my calculation I'm calculating your NDVI, Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. And I'll select the, the bands, band four in this case, and then I'll subtract again Landsat's 1999. And then I'll select a band. In this case, band three. And divide. That's a denominator. And then Landsat 99 again. And then select a band a band, again band 4, and 
I'll instead of subtracting, I'll add and then open a bracket and I'll land set again. I'll select a, a specific band here in this case, band three, and set 1999 and select a band in this case, band three. Now, this is my function that calculates NDVI for the 99 data. So the second approach is using the Earth Engine built-in um, <clears throat> NDVI function, okay? So I'll compute, I'll um, write the title of my function, compute, and DVI it's an easy way so we're gonna do the easy way of calculating NDVI okay now instead of the 99 I'll use this the 2008 Landsat data for this calculation okay so I'll name it NDVI 2008 that's my variable and I'll import this image the 2008 image here and I'll paste it here and then instead of you know selecting the different bands in this case i'll uh, import the normalized difference earth engine built-in function okay normalize difference so this will count this this will just um simply you input the the two bands that you're using for this calculation and then it will automatically calculate NDVI. So it's an, a built-in Earth Engine function. And the second band is band three. That's it. That's simply it. You need to, since it's a list, you need to have a bracket here. So you can see that the, the first way we did, um, <clears throat> we just simply used, <clears throat> we simply used, um, so in the first example, we used um, band uh, mat band by subtracting and adding the different bands, which is the, the easiest way, uh, sorry, the difficult way, the long way of doing that. The other way is using simply the Earth Engine built-in function, which can calculate NDVI if you provided the, the two bands that you're interested in, in this case, band four and band three of Landsat 7 image, okay? So now next, let's, um, create our visualization parameter here. <clears throat> so this is the visualization parameter here and I'll name it NDVI parameters. Okay, so I remember what, what it is. And then as always, I'll open a curly bracket and then name palette this way. And then just list uh, the different colors that I want uh, to be used in this um, in this um, in this mapping. Um, you know, don't worry about you know the color course that I'm writing. And if you want, you can go to Color Brewers, uh, Color Brewer as always, and just check the the different color codes. You know, if you want green, for example, here you can ch you know change it to uh, seven or eight, and you can simply pick you know copy the color code here and then paste it on on your earth engine color part so you don't have to worry about you know the color codes and you don't have to memorize them you can always grab them from the color brewer okay so don't worry about them if i input them so i already uh, created them beforehand so my first co color code is um d73 um zero to seven and then i'll add a second one and the second um, color code is um, uh, ampersand or hashtag FD AE. Sorry, this is not the right one. So F4 6D 43. And let me create the next one. The next color code is FD AE61. The next color code is FEE08. -E Let me do it 
do the next one again. T9, EF, 8B. Next one is A6, D9, 6A. I forgot to include the the quotation, you can use a single quotation or you can use double quotation, it really doesn't matter. And the next one is 6, 6, uh, B, D, 6, 3. The last color code that I'll be using is 1A, 985. And zero. I need a quotation. This case I'll be using single quotation. Okay. Now let me execute the first part of the code. Okay, fantastic. So now to save time, let's um, import the map canvas script which I've already written to save time. So in this script, mind you, we're gonna um, these are the most important parts of the, the function. So the first one is we're gonna display the NDVI, the 99 one. And the second one is <clears throat> we'll display the 2008 NDVI, which we used different approaches. The first one we used, you know, the hard way of calculating NDVI. And the second one, we used the Earth Engine built-in NDVI calculation. We just um, casted normalized difference, Earth Engine built-in function. So let's see if there are any major differences, you know, by using this the simpler way and the hard way um, of calculating NDVI. And then I'll name them NDVI 99 and 2008. And let's execute this part of the code. There's some error here. Landsat 2003 is not found. Some error here. Oh, it's because of the TOA. Okay, fantastic. Okay, great. So we're using the global, you know, Landsat data for the entire planet, you see. So we have used um, the image, um, um, the the image for um, the 2009, um, five year Landsat 7 TOA composite for uh, the year 1999 and 2003. The second one is a five-year Landsat TOA, Top of Atmospheric Reflectance Composite, um, for the 2008 and 12 period. And then we have used two different NDVI calculation approaches. And mind you, this is a global data. It's for the entire planet. So let's just um, check each of them one by one. So the first one is the NDVI 1999, okay? And the other one is the 2018. So this is a five-year composite starting from 2000, um, sorry, 1999 to 2003. So it's a five-year, you know, composite. And so it sounds like during this period, there's some sort of um, um, dry um, drought and mostly, you know, lower NDVI, uh, which indicates lower vegetation over, overall in that, in that period. And then if you look at this five year period, you know, relatively it, it's, um, it, it's just wet. So if you want or interested to um, do it for specific, this is a global, um, you know, data. Um, and that's the, the power of, you know, Google Earth Engine. Um, you know, if, if, if you were using your local machine or something like that to calculate this, this large volume of data, it might take you days or weeks. But with the power of Google Earth Engine and cloud computing, you can analyze and just run 
um, you know, calculating big planetary geospatial data in a fraction of a second. That, that's amazing. So, um, and if you're interested to calculate this for a single country or specific study area, you can use, you know, the clipping function and other, other you know, special analysis, you know, tools to zoom into your study area, okay?